Welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the two-factor authentication on Discord using the mobile application. So all you have to do is simply launch the mobile app on your device and sign into your account. Then once you sign into your account, all you have to do is tap on your profile icon that appears at the bottom right corner. So tap on it. And then within the profile settings, all you have to do is tap on the settings icon at the top right corner. And then find the account option and tap on it. And then within the account settings, scroll down and find the Enable Authenticator app. So all you have to do is simply tap on it. And then now you should have, you should type in the password to enable the Authenticator app. So let me just do that. And then once you do that, all you have to do is simply tap on OK. And then you'll be told download an, authentic an Authenticator app. So I have already downloaded it on my phone. So I'll just tap on Next. And then all you have to do is open your Authenticator app and enter the code below. So all I have to do is just simply copy this page, copy this code, and then open the Authenticator app. So let me just find it. So tap on Authenticator and then add a code, and then enter setup key, and then type in the key. So paste, and then say so let's say this code. And then what you want to do is simply tap on add. Now there you go, that particular key has been added on your Discord account. So once you go back, simply tap on next, and then now what you have to do is enter the Discord authentication code. So simply launch the Authenticator app, and then enter that code. So call your co tap on it to copy it, and then simply go to the Discord app, paste it, and there you go. You can now see 2FA is activated. So once done, simply all you have to do is tap on done, and that's it. So you have successfully enabled the two-factor authentication on your Discord app, on your Discord account using the mobile application. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel.